Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to tomorrow. So there's a lot of really big news going on, but I did want to kind of follow up with the video that I put out two weeks ago talking about the payloads for the Space Launch System. This week I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about some of the exotic payloads that hopefully will be flying on the Space Launch System in the future. And that's what we're going to be talking about for this, your space pod, for September 29th, 2015. With the Space Launch System, once it evolves from the Block 1 to the Block 1B with the Advanced Exploration Upper Stage, a lot more payloads start to become available. And one of the sort of mission architectures that are being looked at is Lunar Exploration. This is a mixture of both robotic and human exploration. One of the ideas that I really like would not only enhance Lunar Exploration missions, but pretty much any Space Launch System mission. And that would be to launch CubeSats in the payload adapter. After the main payload, the primary payload has already separated from that exploration upper stage, they could deploy a lot more CubeSats from within that payload adapter. This is called ESPA, the Encapsulated Secondary Payload Adapter, and with this they could launch six unit CubeSats to do really cool missions. The first ones that they're looking at are for lunar exploration, but like I said, this could be applied to pretty much any space launch system mission. One of the other cool missions I like would be to launch the Orion with several robots that would be landers and rovers that would be able to explore the moon and be teleoperated from that Orion capsule instead of back at Houston or somewhere else on Earth. NASA and their contractors are also looking at a Morpheus-derived lander that could be used for a sample return mission that could actually return something back up to the Orion capsule or a lunar space station. And this is one of the ideas that I really like. Currently there's three kind of big ideas for what could be lunar space station. However, this would not be a space station in orbit around the moon. It would be in one of the Lagrange points. By placing a space station in either the L1 or the L2 positions in the Earth-Moon system, you could potentially have a space station that could not only enhance lunar exploration, but also the NASA ARM asteroid redirect mission. So there is a lot of potential uses by putting a station in either of these positions. Maybe both. That would be awesome. The first one is the Exploration Gateway Platform, and this would use old International Space Station modules and some modules that haven't been launched yet. For example, Node 4, which was never launched but is partially constructed, use part of the shuttle airlock to uh, construct a new airlock and utility module, maybe a multi-purpose logistics module, and even either the original Zvezda or some sort of Zvezda 2 if Russia has been building one and wants to cooperate. With the whole Exploration Gateway platform, I really like how it's using old International Space Station modules that are either already in space or are partially built in here on the ground. So I really like that and I hope that that sort of plan moves forward in whatever of these ideas they go with and they better go with at least one of them. Another idea is called the Deep Space Habitat, and this is also International Space Station derived modules, but it would be new modules. They would also use the Multipurpose Logistics module, but they would create a new sort of destiny lab. There's already one that is partially in the middle of construction, and with this they would be able to have a pretty advanced space station that could have an exploration upper stage and be able to move around and do lots of really interesting things. And something that I really like about this is the support craft for this space station idea. One of them is called Flexcraft, which is just a small one-person capsule that would have robotic arms and could be used for a lot of orbital construction, orbital repairs, a lot of the uses that we normally go on EVAs for. But you could extend how long they're outside if they're in one of these flex crafts. You could extend repair missions for a long time and it could do a lot of really cool things with it. So I really like this and personally I want one of these. The other support craft is actually a survivor from the Constellation program, and this is called the Multi-Mission Space Exploration Vehicle. This is an in-space only vehicle, and there's several different versions that would switch out the bottom for either robotic wheels or for uh, some sort of service module. And with this idea, I really like it because you would be able to do, again, really cool things. This would be able to enhance the asteroid redirect missions, lunar missions, they could do all sorts of really cool things and expand 
the station a lot. In between the multi-purpose logistics module and their uh, Destiny 2 module that I guess I'm calling is this airlock that would have connector ports that they could have not only these support craft but other visiting spacecraft as well. So I really like this idea. Finally, the other idea that I really like is called Skylab 2. And this is just like the original Skylab in the sense that it's using a, a, a dry upper stage from the Space Launch System in the same way that the original Skylab used an upper stage from the Saturn V. So I really like this idea and I would love to have something like this. And it also uses the Flexcraft as, as a support vehicle to be able to do orbital construction and really cool things. So I think that this should be done. This, this is a really cool idea and a really cool mission. There are lots of other really good ideas for payloads for the Space Launch System, but these are just some of my favorites. And I'm going to put a couple of links to the PDFs where I got this information in the description below so that you guys can look at that yourself and, and look a little bit more in depth to a lot of these ideas and some of the other ideas out there. I really like a lot of the Boeing ideas so far. They've really been leading the charge as to coming up for different ideas and plans for potential missions. So that's what we need. We need payloads for the Space Launch System or wire are we making it you know we can only do the Orion mission so many times before that gets old so we need really interesting ideas like this and I like it anyway please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about some of the ideas that I described in this video and some of the ones that you might discover from the information below really want to know what you guys think about this and whether or not you think that regardless of what happens to the space launch system if these ideas should become a reality one way or another no matter what rocket they're launching on that that's that's my opinion anyway that's that's where i sit so i want to know what you guys think also if you guys are willing and able please continue to donate to our patreon campaign at patreon.com spacepod so we can continue to make space news videos like this thank you so much to everyone who's been donating and thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you know a little bit more today than you did yesterday thanks to tomorrow. Keep moving onwards and upwards everybody and I will see you in the future.